Hey there, YouTube boys and girls. Uh, ASM Auto back with another video for you. In this case, another tool haul. Uh, I think you're gonna enjoy this video quite a bit because uh, there's quite a few new tools, um, many of which I bet you haven't seen on YouTube or on any other channel yet. Um, and some other tools you may have seen, but you haven't seen them in the packages uh, that I'm gonna show you. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. First up, this is an OTC Made in USA 10 pound slide hammer with a slide. These are still made in the USA, even the new ones. Um, I actually got this off of eBay for 40 bucks. Uh, it was brand new, but it was basically, uh, I think it was like a factory or something like that, ordered a bunch of these, had some overstock, and then uh, eventually they ended up on eBay. So got a killer deal on it. Um, life, it is OTC, lifetime warranty, all that good stuff. Now, the reason I went with this, uh, and the reason I picked it up, first of all, is because Every once in a while you run into a situation, particularly with like a hub and bearing assembly or whatnot, where it's, it's just so stuck on there that when you use your typical five pound, sled, uh, five pound slide hammer, um, it just takes forever to get it off. So uh, in theory, you know, you upgrade to 10 pounds, you're basically doubling your force and it should take at least half the time to get it off. Um, you know, if you're breaking a rust bond, it might even speed it up further. So um, the reason I went with the OTC model, um, besides the fact it was a great deal for a made in USA tool, is because uh, it shares the same rod diameter and uh, thread pitch, thread, you know, uh, thread size, thread pitch, um, as the, uh, the OTC rebranded Craftsman set I have with the five pound slide hammer. So basically, so basically I can use all my adapters and my different pieces uh, with this. And, uh, Hopefully, uh, all those pieces are rated for 10 pounds <laughs> and they'll hold up. Um, if not, I'm, I'll be sure and let you know. And by the way, you can find this fairly easily. I'm not sure what the part number is, but just look up OTC 10 pound uh, slide hammer and there's probably a few of these left on eBay. If not, there's other sites like Zora that have good deals on them. But certainly a solid, s certainly a solid, uh, you know, piece of equipment and all you really got to do is, uh, you know, make sure you keep the threads greased and uh, don't strip those out or damage them. And this thing should last a lifetime. All right, next up, this was uh, something that got sent to me from Home Depot to test out. I'm not sure if it's available yet. Uh, I didn't know what to expect from it um, because it's actually, uh, I think it was made in Korea and then maybe like finished in China or something like that, or it may have been made completely in Korea. Um, I don't recall, it said it on the packaging. So I wasn't really sure to, what to expect from this. It's basically an extendable uh, crescent wrench. And uh, I kind of assumed it wouldn't be necessarily that robust, but actually outside of it being a little sticky there, the way it's made, as you can see, um, and just the overall feel of it's very solid. Uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with the quality of it. And you know, like this part, it doesn't rattle. It's not like those Harbor Freight made in India wrenches if you ever played around with those, Man, they're terrible. It holds its position extremely well. It feels solid and robust. Again, it, it used, uh, actually uses a solid beam um, and uh, it has these different detents in the grooves. So it really, it really makes a nice solid connection. Like this, that's the same style that the, uh, uh, any of you guys that are fans of German tools, the Hazette extendable wrench or ratchet, the newer ones, the half inch I featured in a prior video, has the same style on it, you know, for locking it into different lengths. So the lengths that it goes are from 12 to 16 inches. You know, it could be good for alignments or just when you need to put a little extra torque on something in your, and you have to use this style of wrench, which happens every once in a while. Um, the part number on this, let's see if we can find one, because I'm not entirely sure, actually. Uh, but it does, it's, it's Husky branded. As you can see, it has markings on it, which is nice. It's got both millimeters and inches. Um, it goes, let's see, it goes from, goes up to one and a half inches, you know, or four millimeters. So not, not bad, not bad at all. I have to give them a thumbs up on this. Kind of a cool idea. So when these are available at your Home Depot, you can pick one of these up and probably cover a bunch of uses with it. Plus the handle's really nice. And um, it's a little bit better than those Husky rubber handles that you may, may have encountered on other Husky tools. 
like the material just feels better. Um, and it also, it does, a, it's really resistant to different oils and, and chemicals. Um, so yeah, haven't really put it to the test yet. I actually just brought it in. I uh, used it a bit at home, but pretty impressed so far. And again, that should be showing up at, at Home Depot at some point in the future. All right, next up is a product from Orion Motor Tech, uh, which would be one of your Amazon slash eBay companies, uh, Chinese. I forgot to take the locks off of there. So what it is, it's, it's your master, uh, you know, brake caliper uh, wind back kit. And what's nice is it actually comes with the left and, and uh, right handed wind back tools. And it's uh, the most comprehensive kit you can get. It's, there's some other brands that put this out. You know, it is made in China. Um, this one is actually a little bit nicer because it's, uh, all the pieces are black oxide coated. The other ones you'll see are just the metal, they're not coated. Um, so far, and they actually had a sale on this uh, on Amazon, so it was the same price as the other ones, but basically this was like 23 bucks. Um, and when I got it, I wasn't sure what to expect, but uh, the quality actually is pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Everything seems to be machined very precisely. Um, it, feels, it feels like quality pieces. Uh, you know, we'll see when you use it. Obviously, it's not something you need a high level of torque typically, or at least you shouldn't if, you, if you're experiencing a high level of resistance, something's wrong. Um, so on top of that, and uh, you know, just the fact that it doesn't need to be used that often, um, there's no reason to go expensive. I don't even know if you can go expensive. These kits tend to be pretty cheap unless you buy the individual manufacturer, you know, specific ones. Um, so yeah. And I've, and I've actually compared some of these to those and they, you know, they're pretty, they're precise. They're pretty much the same. So, um, I'm pretty happy with, with this, this set so far. We'll see how it holds up, but I expect it to hold, hold up pretty well. And for $23, it's hard to really go wrong. And again, I'm not sure of the part number, just go on Amazon and look up, uh, you know, brake callip, uh, disc brake caliper tool or, you know, disc brake caliper set, Orion Motor Tech disc brake caliper, whatever, just throw in some keywords and you'll find it on Amazon. All right, this next set I was gonna, I guess you could say cheap out on. Um, I didn't personally own my own set of, there's the part number for that, of the, uh, you know, the filter wrenches, the filter caps basically. So I went with the Lyle, these are, they're pretty nicely made. They actually uh, changed the way they actually changed the way they reinforce these because I guess be, in the past, like the the pinch welds were breaking or something. I don't know. I read something about that. So they've changed the way they've made these. Uh, I saw them on the Mack truck and they were really expensive. So I found them much cheaper. You know, they're all made by Lyle. I found them much cheaper going directly with Lyle. Uh, this is a ten-piece set. The uh, I'd say that's the main difference between this and. Um, You'll see the budget sets that are made of aluminum. This is made of steel. Um, the, the aluminum sets are more comprehensive. They're kind of like that, uh, you know, like the caliper wine back set. Um, th they, uh, they have like 23 pieces or thereabouts. They go up to, I think like a, like 100 plus, uh, millimeters. I think this set goes up to 92, somewhere around that. Um, so Lyle does offer a more comprehensive kit. Uh, it's much more expensive. I'm going to start out with these 10 and I think that they're probably going to cover everything I need. If, if they don't cover a certain size, I'm going to grab that. So I was kind of on the fence because my, uh, my coworker has one of those, one of those, uh, uh, you know, Chinese company kits, the, the aluminum ones. Uh, I think his, his is called like B line or something like that. And it comes in a blue case. And again, it has like 23 different filter caps. Um, so I don't really know if this, if it's necessary to go with the quality of a Lyle on this, but that's what I did. And I paid about the same price, but I only got half the cap. So we'll see if I regret that Moving or not. Moving on, um, what I've got in my service, in my cart here, is uh, a bunch of gear wrench stuff, a bunch of new gear wrench stuff. Some of this stuff you may have seen individually, but uh, I personally haven't seen these packages uh, on any other YouTube channel. So uh, I think it'll be new to uh, quite a few of you. If you're a gear wrench fan, I think you're really going to enjoy this. So some of this stuff I haven't even looked at yet. For example, this is kind of cool, I think, in theory. Now what it is, is it's a Torx screwdriver. There's the part number, 8963. It's made in Taiwan, not China. There's a plus right off the bat, because they don't trust China with their torque wrenches yet. 
<laughs> um, anyway, let's open this guy up. And so right off, right off the bat, one thing I like is that it's got that adapter. So you can, you can use sockets on it, um, you know, with an adapter. Uh, it looks like it's a locking one. So you got your typical hex drive with a locking adapter there. And comes in a pretty cool, pretty cool little screw case. Reminds me of, uh, again, if you're a German tool fan, that has some of the Hazette stuff comes in those. Um, but anyway, there it is. So it's basically a screwdriver and uh, with torque settings. Inch pounds. There's the part number again. So I guess it's in inch pounds. Uh, again, I know nothing. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. You can actually put an extension on it. That's clever. I like that little that little addition. And then I assume this you just you, oh you pull up. Okay. All right. So you pull up to uh, release. Cool. So anyway, we'll have to give this uh, we'll have to give this a shot and see how it goes. Um, again, I'm literally <laughs> literally using this for, for the first time or literally opening this for the first time. Let me remember if that went there. So I'll let you guys know what I think after using this a bit longer. Oh yeah. So there it goes. Okay, but I kind of dig the storage case. I mean, why, you know, I don't need another box. Now, Grant, it's probably rolls, or it'll roll around your toolbox a little bit, but hey, you can screw that down until it's all the way to the top. It doesn't take up too much room. You could even hang it off of a peg. Um, you know, it could come in handy. Uh, I have a pretty small quarter inch torque wrench, but hey, who knows? Sometimes this might be pretty handy. We'll see. All right, next up, I thought this was kind of interesting. It's like a... I've seen some of these individually. They're all the new tools, but what it is, is here's the part number. It's like a bolt biter um, master kit. <laughs> and you'll see uh, on the inside, it's just the individual products in their packages in a bigger box. Now they actually had a nice little, almost like an Apple type thing. If you ever bought Apple products going on in there where everything was, you know, it had another piece of cardboard that had everything kind of laid out in a creative fashion and I couldn't figure out how to put them back in with it. So I tossed the cardboard. Uh, anyway, first up we've got, um, these are basically, if you've, if you've played around with the vessel screwdrivers, the rebranded craftsman's back in the day, the made in Japan's, uh, this is, this is equivalent to that set. You've got a quarter inch and a, uh, number two, uh, impact screwdriver. So you can use it like a normal screwdriver or you can impact it and it turns like 15 degrees, or 12 degrees actually, this one turns 12. And you know you can break loose like a rotor screw or something like that, basically a seized screw uh, with, a, with a slight impact, a controlled impact. Um, now what I don't know is whether this tip, like the uh, vessel and the, J, uh, and the Craftsman are J, is JIS or if it's just standard Phillips. I mean, from the looks of it, it looks kind of like standard Phillips, but that might be one advantage for the vessel and the craftsman. But anyway, um, pretty nice. Um, if the price is right and it works for you, go for it. It is, it's a lifetime warranty like most of the gear inch stuff. And uh, so according to this, it says it's a product of Taiwan finished in mainland China, wherever the heck that means. I guess the components were made in Taiwan and then it was assembled in China. So whether, whether that meets your standard of quality or not, or just your definition, it did cross into mainland China at some point in its manufacturing process, just so you know. But anyway, you, they have these now, they're available. On top of that, this I'm kind of excited about. Um, I'll probably give those away. But anyway, this set I'm kind of excited about. This is the bolt biter sockets. I don't have any of these. I've got like, I've got Irwin shallow and deep. Um, there's actually rebranded Snap-on, but you know, Irwin basically. They're, uh, they're kind of incomplete. They like. They don't necessarily cover every size. So I've also got like a Matco set, which I think is rebranded Astro, but it's 3 8 um, and you can't get that in Astro. Anyway, I featured that in another video. Uh, so these ball biters, what intrigues me about them is they seem to be kind of like a semi-deep length. Anyway, it doesn't say semi-deep anywhere on there. There's the part number, and it covers quarter inch to 3 8 uh, And you can see the size is somewhat limited, but just the length here, I think sometimes is going to come in handy because I found situations where I just couldn't quite find the right extractor, uh, you know, between a shallow, the shallow and the deeps that I have. Um, and then also that uh, the Maco set is also shallow. So these being kind of like a semi-deep length, I think may come in handy. Uh, we'll give it a shot. They don't have, uh, the broaching isn't, isn't very deep. Um, it basically 
you know, it basically comes to the same length as like a shallow socket, but you do have that extra, you do have that extra, um, you know, hole running down the center. So hopefully if the bolt will fit in there, you know, you can get to a slightly recessed nut. But anyway, we'll give these, uh, we'll give these a shot. We'll add them to the arsenal. There's the part number. And again, this is all part of this same kit. So for whatever reason, they threw in a token, uh, what was that? Three eighths. Yeah. Three eighths ratchet. Uh, there's the part number. Guess in case you didn't have one, that's just your standard new, new style three eighths ratchet. And last but not least, again, some of this stuff is just brand new. Just got it. Not even opened. Um, so these guys kind of, I guess they're Knipex knockoffs. Um, they have this little, this little knob here that says it engages or, or disengages the jaw. So they have their own there. If you can see that, hopefully that's coming in. It says push knob, engage lever. So you can slide it out and then squeeze to adjust. So that's kind of cool. Um, instead of a button on the side, it's got this, it's got this little knob on the back. Um, and I, yeah, I guess we'll have to see how they work. They don't look or feel as, as slick as a pair of uh, Knipex, but hey, if you don't have any of this stuff, maybe the overall kit is a good deal and it's worth it. So in this case, it's a product of Vietnam finished in China. <laughs> finished in China. And the Knipex is made in Germany. So there's that. Comes with two sizes, eight and 10. And that's your bolt biter kit. If it were up to me, I would just buy these. But like I said, depending on your needs and your application, maybe this entire kit, and once again, there's the part number of it. You can buy it as a kit. Maybe that entire kit will be up your alley. Or maybe it'll go on sale and you end up getting everything for peanuts. All right, this next one I think is, is really cool, but with a couple of caveats, not major ones. But this is just, it just looks like that. That right there is, you know, bling for your toolbox. Um, the, the foam trays are super sweet. Now what this is, is a, it's a comprehensive 3 8 ratchet and extension kit. So you get a standard 3 8 ratchet, you get a long flex head 3 8 ratchet, you get a 3 8 breaker bar, and then you get, you get the locking 3 8 uh, the standard 3 8 and the, uh, the wobble plus. Yeah, but it's, yep, it's got the step, wobble plus 3 8 For some unknown reason, you get the speed handle, nostalgia, I guess, and you get a 3 8 universal joint. Now, my only real issue with this kit is just a couple of minor things. Like this right here is a standard extension. I would have liked to see this long extension be a locking extension just because, you know, long extensions, typically you're going somewhere where you can't make sure you don't lose the socket. Um, and then also they included their old, old 84 tooth ratchets in here instead of the new 90 tooth ratchets. As you can see, it's even got the black and um, orange color scheme. So why they didn't include those ratchets it's almost like they're just trying to get, get rid of their old stock here. Um, it should have been the new 90 tooth ratchets. That's, that'd be one minor complaint. But you know, if you're a DIYer or you're starting out and you need all these and you need them organized, there you go. Uh, part number right there, 89076. Okay. Oh, now this last thing, um, one of these sets is super cool and one of these sets I don't like. And the irony is that they're both supposed to be more or less the same thing, um, 90 tooth flex head ratcheting wrenches. So let's start out with the one I really like. And I think this is probably a, a great starter kit for um, any new technician or mechanic entering the industry. Part number 86728. And what it does is it gives you 16. Oh yeah, and it's cool like little Seems like they're, they hired somebody from Apple who does packaging. <laughs> it's got like that, it's got that kind of Apple flair to it. But, uh, oh, and this is pro tip. Uh, when you pull this out, um, when you pull this out, you want to keep it, you want to open it from the bottom because, and then take the bottom off because otherwise you'll find that the, the bottom of the actual box is under this and everything will spill out. <laughs> So just remove it from the bottom and there's your, there's all your ratcheting wrenches. Now this goes, this set goes from, I believe eight, I'm certain I saw an eight millimeter in here. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, they just slid underneath. So it goes all the way to from eight millimeter, from eight millimeter, and we're gonna set this to the side and, and I'll show you why in a second. All the way up to 25 a millimeter. And these are actually all very, very nice. They have the, uh, like that surface drive, um, basically a gear wrenches version of the, the flank drive. They, they don't use teeth, but they kind of like the Mac wrenches, they use ridges and they do work. They work pretty well um, overall. And uh, the mechanisms on these are all nice and smooth. Like the ends aren't too fat. I think overall gear wrench has done a pretty good job with these. Um, I like them. Now it does say, say made in China. I don't know, maybe components are made in Taiwan. Um, one thing I wish gear wrench would do is use Torx instead of like these hex. Cause I don't know if you've ever tried to tighten the gear wrench, but sometimes like the hex, uh, actually it's on, sometimes it'll come from the factory so tight uh, that if you try to loosen it, you'll end up stripping that out, which is really, really annoying. So I wish they would not go so cheap on that little, you know, the little uh, joint screw there and go with like a Torx or something, something that bites better than these hexes. Anyway, which is a minor pet peeve. So uh, the, this set, um, it's 16, so it does skip a few sizes. Let's see, uh, it skips the, uh, the 20, which is not a huge deal. I actually do find, use, I use 20 every once in a while, um, but I, I have a 20 inch ratchet and wrench, or 20 millimeter ratchet and wrench anyway, so. Um, it skips the 20, and I think, uh, oh, and the 23, yeah. So it skips the 20 and the 23, but it does not skip any other sizes all the way from eight to 25. Um, so it's a really comprehensive, complete set in my opinion, and they're nicely made. Like there's the eight millimeter, it's pretty nice. You know, and then there's the open end. And as you can see, this is not, that doesn't look, resemble a dog bone to me. And it does have the surface drive on it. Now, that was the 16 piece set and you saw the part number. This is another set that I was sent and there's the part number for that. It's 86794, what is this? 86728. Okay, so these do not have the, uh, obviously it's a much smaller kit. These do not have the surface drive on the end and look at this eight millimeter compared to this. First of all, they're not the same length. And second of all, look at that dog bone or, uh, sorry, lobster claw. I don't know why I call it a dog. A dog bone is a different type of wrench. You've seen those gimmicky dog bone wrenches before, I'm sure. Lobster claw, lobster claw, <laughs> claw wrench. I don't know why I confuse those. Anyway, as you can see, this one, you know, from that smaller set has that, that ugly lobster claw on the end, and it's shorter. Let's check out the part number on these. So, all right, so this is 86768, and this is 86708. So that's probably clue right there. You probably want to stay in the lower, you know, the lower numbers, but just make sure you know what you're getting. So both of these, both of these exist and they're not all that different in price. So why not get the nicer one? There's just a little, little hint for you. Hey, so I was playing around with this uh, torque driver a little bit more and just to give you an idea of how it operates. So this part's nice. It uh, releases very easily. You just push up on it, and then to attach it, it's it's actually you don't need to do anything. You just put the bit in, and it automatically locks into place. Yeah, I know. Sorry, not the best camera work. I put my tripod away. Um, now to adjust this, you just pull this ring down, and then you can slide you can slide these over. So basically, uh, what you're looking at here is you got five inch pounds plus one, so that would be six inch pounds. So it goes up to, it goes from uh, basically five to 25 inch pounds. Okay, next up, this should show up in the mail. Uh, I've wanted a right angle drill for a long time. I was thinking about getting the snap on. I was gonna wait till it came out in the brushless. Um, but Tool Boss's channel uh, showed a deal the other day that I just couldn't pass up. So basically uh, my buddy needed a quarter inch impact driver. His was, uh, uh, first business, uh, his old one was wearing out, and so we went in on a on a deal uh, where you got the uh, the drill, the driver, the M18 fuel drill and driver, 
um, a two amp hour battery, four amp hour battery, a charger, plus an extra tool, all for $180. Like it was just, it was crazy. It was a crazy Home Depot hack. So I'm gonna sell my buddy the, uh, the charger, the impact driver, um, and the, uh, the two amp hour battery. I'm keeping the four amp hour battery, keeping this right angle drill, and I'm also keeping the uh, M12 fuel, right ang or fuel uh, ha uh, hammer drill for home use. And uh, at the end of the day, I think, I think this will work just fine. It's, I mean, it's not, it's not powerful. You know, it's a regular Milwaukee. It's not the fuel. But it seems, you know, it's decent made. Uh, this part doesn't seem too wide. Uh, you know, it has different settings. It has your, you know, your screw driver settings and then also your drill setting. Um, feels pretty good. So we'll give it a shot. I mean, the bottom line, you know, with drilling through metal is you take your time, you, you know, you don't, you don't drill too fast, you use plenty of cutting oil, you use high quality, sharp drill bits, and they do most of the work for you. The drill itself really isn't, really, it doesn't matter as long as you have a half decent one, which this is. So I think this will hold up just fine and I'll, and for the price, you know, practically nothing, I couldn't beat it. So I think everybody, this has been around for a long time, I think since like 2013 or something, but, for anyone who doesn't know, there's the part number. All right, next up, uh, this is another eBay purchase. Um, it's, it, it is uh, new. It is new, but um, you know, through a pawn shop or something. It's a snap-on uh, body hammer. I didn't have one of these. Uh, I don't really do much body work occasionally, like maybe if I have to fix my own bumper. <laughs> Not just joking, joking, joking. But anyway, uh, this, this wide flat surface just looks super useful for tapping certain things. Um, so I figured it was a good investment. And if I ever have to do any body work, I've got, a, you know, I've got one decent body hammer. So there's the part number, BF608 uh, version B, made in USA, nice wood handle. And uh, I think these run around 80 bucks if you get them from Snap-on. I got it for a little bit less. Okay, I've been waiting for these. So these are the new Knipex version of your slip, your standard slip joint pliers. And uh, they have multiple settings, just like the Cobras. That's an innovation right there. And they have a screw extractor on the end, just like your van pliers, but probably better. <laughs> that's I guess that's not totally fair. I haven't used them yet, but I have a feeling these Knipexes are going to hold up a bit longer. And you can see the teeth patterns in there. Very nice, very aggressive. And then they also have that kind of like almost that, you know, that bolt biter pattern behind that. Um, similar to the new snap-ons. Now, I waited to get these because I wanted the, uh, I wanted this handle. I wanted like the, you know, the fancy handle. <laughs> the uh, regular handle ones have been out for a while, but here's the part number for the fancy handle. And I got this from my buddy uh, Chad at Chad's Toolbox. So Chad's Toolbox, if you've never heard of them, you can find them all online. It's like chadstoolbox.com. I've mentioned them in another video. And uh, he actually supplies a number of other companies with German tools. So he's the middleman, but he also sells tools directly um, he's a smaller operation, um, you know, in terms of a, a storefront, but not so small in terms of being a tool supplier um, between, you know, the United States and Germany. And I think, I believe he's located up in Canada somewhere, but regardless, heck of a nice guy, um, great deals. And I was one of the first to jump on this when I got the, uh, the email about it. And I've been waiting for a few months for it to show up. So finally, now you can get your fancy version of these slip joint, joint pliers that are supposed to change the game from Kinepex. As you can see, that profile is just, that's awesome. It's just awesome. I have a feeling these are, <laughs> these are gonna be a game changer. And the van pliers, maybe you'll go in a bag and go home. The ones, the van pliers I have, by the way, are the, uh, the electrician's ones. So they're kind of thick. They don't always work, but um, you know, when they do fit, they work. All right, next up. And this reminds me, I have to get out. I do have some tools in my box that I bought since the last time we talked um, that I haven't shown you. So I'll see if I can dig some of those up. But uh, I've got another puller to show you. I'm sure you've seen it on other channels. 
But anyway, I've been upgrading my seal puller collection just because it seems like I've been dealing with, you know, more seals and that the traditional kind with the hooks, you know, kind of like that, which is kind of annoying. Um, you know, the kind everybody has, they sell at the parts stores. They work okay, but they're kind of annoying. And then, you know, using screwdrivers and other techniques to get it out. I wanted to upgrade my professional tool collection. So this thing right here, the shaft type seal puller, um, it comes with, this is just a replacement. Uh, you know, that's like kind of the hook that you hook into it. So basically like the way it works is, as I understand it, is you actually, this thing actually puts pressure against, um, you know, against the component where you're trying to remove the seal. And this goes out behind it. And basically with, with the tension or the pressure, it's rather easy to kind of like, you know, just pull the, to pop the seal out. Anyway, I haven't used it yet. Uh, it gives you, as you can see, there's a, there's an image of, there's a, there's a drawing of it in use, but I just watched a couple of YouTube videos and saw people using this and see, there's a good example. So like, so it's specifically for uh, camshaft and crankshaft seal, seals. And there you see, there you kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, I've seen, a, I've seen a couple of videos on this in YouTube and it seemed to just work like magic. So I think it was a grand total of like 10 bucks off of Amazon. It was not expensive. So I figured, why not? And it's kind of cool they give you a backup. So like with most Lyle products, the, uh, the, whole, the tool itself is warrantied, but these little, this piece right here is not warrantied. So they do give you an extra and you can always get more you know, probably from your, your tool truck, because most of them are Lyle dealers, you know, if you, if you wear these, uh, you wear these out. And I also picked this up off the Mako truck for those stubborn recessed seals. Um, I think it's rebranded Mayhew, but, you know, it's lifetime warranty off the truck, and at least on my Mako truck, it really wasn't much more than the Mayhew, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'm pretty sure it was under 40 bucks, somewhere around there. But yeah, same idea. You need to put this end behind the seal and then you strike this end and you can hold this end or, um, you know, it is a hex. So you can actually put like a socket on it or something just to give yourself a better grip. So yeah, that would be your heavy duty seal puller. And again, this is, this is re, I am almost certain that this, this guy right here is rebranded Mayhew. So if you don't have a Mako truck, just go on Amazon and look for Look for the Mayhew seal puller. I'm trying to see, is that a part? I think that's a part number right there. It's like three, three, uh, hold on. Let me, oh, S, it's, it's SP for seal puller, SP7, if you can see that. I don't know, it seems like it's kind of not very clear on the camera. But yeah, SP7 is the part number, the macro part number anyway. All right, next up. This is from Mac Tools. There's a partner, EM111. This right here is your, is your high amp clamp. Uh, it has settings goes up to 400 and then 1500, <laughs> excuse me, 1500 amps. I've wanted a, a higher amp clamp for some time. The, the one that I have from Electronic Specialties goes up to, I think, 650. I wanted one that went at least past 1000. Now the, uh, um, my mind is escaping me right now, but the, the scope, <laughs> you know, the, the company that makes like the four channel scopes that run off of your laptop, uh, their newer version actually has an amp clamp that it comes with that goes up to 2000. Um, so the Mac is no longer the king. It goes up to 1500. I think OTC also makes a high amp clamp that goes up to 2000, but regardless, uh, this one is, I just like the design. Um, it has a lot of recommendations from, you know, from Diag guys, uh, I wasn't really ready to splurge for it, but I actually saw this on eBay and it is, it's brand new. Um, so whoever used it, didn't use it and, uh, got a killer, uh, got a killer deal on it. So I decided to pick it up and it does work. I've tested it already. So yeah, it even had, it was literally untouched. Um, it even had the original Chinese battery that it comes with wrapped in the little thing. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it's just, it was one of those finds that I uh, was pretty excited when I got it. So I finally have it. And again, you can get that from Mac Tools. Alrighty. And uh, I did pick up another pair of screw extractors, just a smaller pair. These are made by Fujia. I saw uh, one guy that I've pretty much known since he started his channel, like Tony the Technician, um, has been getting, uh, I guess, 
getting tools sent to him from Frigia. They're a Japanese company. These are not made in Japan, but it's a Japanese company. And they seem to be really well made. I've seen, you know, I've seen them show up in some other spots on YouTube. And people have tested them. And they've said they kind of prefer these in some ways to even the, uh, the engineers and the rebranded van pliers. One thing that's nice is it's got a spring there. Uh, and, it, and it seems to be just about the right tension. It has a nice grip. Um, and this, you know, the overall size is nice. It's a little bit, it's just a little bit smaller, you know, for those smaller screws. I actually did pick up another pair. It's not in this video because I picked it up for computer work. Um, it was a tiny ESD safe pair made by Engineer. But anyway, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these. They, they were not expensive. It was like $14 off of Amazon. So I'll throw these in my box. Actually, I'm kind of curious. I haven't even done this yet. I bought these before the Kinebex showed up. Just want to see how... Yeah, so they're, they're definitely smaller quite a bit. Um, although, as you can see, like the screw grip is similar in size. The, uh, the width of the pliers themselves is smaller. So these will come, probably come in handy every once in a while for those smaller screws. Ah, and let's see if I can... I think that's the part number right there, if you didn't see it already. Oop, looks like there's a... Come on, there we go. NSP0... Is that a, that's an I... And then I think it's an I, and then 150. But anyway, again, go on Amazon, look up Fujia screw extractor pliers, and <laughs> these will come up. It's not hard. Okay, next up, I'm sure everybody's heard of these and either, you know, thinks they're a joke or thinks they're cool. But anyway, I noticed Napa was having a super sale and I had like rewards points, so I practically got a set of these Load Pros for free. Um, you know, there's plenty of YouTube videos on them. There's the, there's the Napa part number. So basically all it is is it's a set of test leads, but the, uh, they have, uh, you can put a load on the circuit and then you can watch the voltage drop. So basically the idea is to speed up your diagnosis for, um, uh, you know, high resistance in the wires due to corrosion, brakes, things like that. Um, so... I figured it'd be kind of a fun thing to play around with, which I will at some point. But anyway, that's that. Figured since I bought it, might as well show it to you. So it, said, it does say Load Pro on it, and then it also says Napa Diagnostic Solutions. But yeah, this is the cheapest I, I've ever seen them um, on Napa. It was probably, I don't know, in the 30s or something. That was, that might have even been without the rewards. Whatever, it was a good deal, so figured, hey, why not? Have some fun. Not everything has to be like, oh, I absolutely need this. Some things, hey, if you enjoy what you're doing, you enjoy working with your hands and playing around with vehicles, some things could just be for fun. Now, now this, I am glad to have at the shop now. I've just brought it in today and I am excited about it. So it's the Astro Tools 9477. I've done a lot of research on these ratcheting style crimpers and you'll see what I'm talking about right here. Now this is identical, identical, identical to the blue point version, but it comes with more adapters. So basically these crimpers allow you to put on a lot of leverage because of the way they're, you know, because of their jointed design. Um, and also they're ratcheting. So, you know, when you're done, you'll know when you've bottomed out because you can feel it in the tool. And you, and you can, basically you can do factory quality crimps with these. Um, and uh, they're just easy to use and easy on your hands. Now I've got quite a few crimpers and I'll, you know, I'll rotate between them, but I've never had a ratcheting crimp, crimper set like this. So I'm, I'm just super excited. Um, what, this sit, what this set comes with is, uh, it's got insulated terminal. So it's got the op open barrel. As you can see, it's got the open barrel terminal uh, loaded right now. And then up here, you've got the insulated for insulated terminals. And as you can see, the, they're color coded like your wires, which is cool. And then you've got non-insulated. It's got all the size markings. You've got um, open barrel. You've got another set of open barrels up here. And uh, let's see, you've got, okay, so you've got like uh, insulated for, you know, the end of a cord, basically the terminal at the end of your cord uh, to attach that. And then lastly, you've got, um, the same thing, but it's insulated for, for the larger, um, you know, terminal connections. And, uh, 
the way they work is it's real simple. They have like they have pretty strong magnets in there, so you don't need to deal with like those screws. Um, and the one reason I went with this over the uh, I real I'm a huge fan of S and G Tool Aid. They make great products, but their version of this ratcheting crimper, while it does work with the standard uh, dies, um, you know the traditional dies that have like the two the pin at the top and the bottom, or, or basically a hole I should say, not a pin, a hole that you would screw, you know you'd screw into your crimper. Uh, and it took time to change it. Um, the uh, the newer tool aids don't have that, but they basically have a pin, and they have a little lever on the other side. And because of that lever, they're just a lot wider than these. And number two, from what I've seen, like sometimes because of the way those pins are, uh, basically because of the design, if you're putting any kind of uh, strain on them, sometimes the the uh, the pin will come loose from the jaw, and they'll actually leave you know, leave the jaw on the, uh, on whatever you're trying to crimp. Now, again, it's probably a lot of its user error. So yeah, I can't I can't say one way or another because I'm just watching other people and seeing their reviews. And there's a lot of people that just don't know how to use tools properly. So maybe that tool would work fine, but nobody has complained about this. And I can tell you that these are actually held on magnetically and they're so easy to slide and, and they just snap into place like they lock into place. And then they're also easy to remove and interchange. So I think this is a superior design. They're also a little bit more compact, but they still have, they still have a similar clamping force. Um, so I think this is, the, this is the platform to go with. I've done research on how available these are, and you can get all kinds of different stuff um, from different manufacturers. So this, this type of die is now pretty much, it's, it's pretty much universal like the old school one. So you don't really need to worry about being able to get additional dies for this kit. Now, one of the dies I wish it had come with um, since it's really, you know, great for auto repair is this, but this is easy to get and it wasn't expensive. I think it was like 10, 10 bucks. Um, there's the part number 9477H1. Uh, and so this is basically for doing spark plugs. I kind of wish it came in the kit, but I wouldn't remove anything from the kit. So in addition to that, you can use this for home electrical uh, repair. They have dies for uh, like coaxial cable um, and all kinds of different stuff. So yeah, it's a really great, it's a really great kit for doing professional crimps at home and at the shop. Okay, and last but not least, here's a gear product I actually paid for. <laughs> um, basically, it's your small file set. And I thought these are pretty nice. They're, they are made in Taiwan, um, including the files. The files seem really, really nice, and the handles are, are nice. So I didn't really see any, any reason to go... Uh, go crazy on, you know, a more expensive kit from, say, Snap-on or something. Because I think, you know, for small files, this this will be a great set. And I hope it has a part, it does not have a part number on it. So uh, I apologize for that. Let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got basically six small files. And I'd imagine if you just Google small, gear wrench small file set, you'll see these. Now they did offer a set with the old red handle. So, you know, just check the description. Um, if you want the newer style, which I, I think these are pretty nice. I'd go with these. I really do like, I really do dig the handles. Um, so just make sure, you know, it has the right handle style and, and part number. And it's from a site that, you know, is, an, is a gear wrench distributor and has the newest stuff. You can usually tell. Alrighty. So one thing I've found useful throughout the years, even in auto repair, is uh, you know your thin like stainless steel scrapers. Uh, you'll see the tool trucks have these kits with these style of scrapers in them. And they will charge you an arm and a leg. And oftentimes, you know, outside of maybe Snap-on, they're not made in USA. They're good, they're decent, they look great, they have their fancy handles. But, dude, go on Amazon, this is Buck Bros. Made in USA. I've had various ones of these over the years and I've used them for all kinds of stuff at home, you know, and at the shop. So this is, happens to be the one and a half inch. Uh, where is the, I don't know if it has a part number. Anyway, go on Amazon, that's where I got it. Dirt cheap, made in USA. Pretty sure it has a lifetime warranty, just great tool. You can sharpen it yourself, so probably never need that warranty. Now, for these stainless steel scrapers, 
I think I've found the holy grail of stainless steel scrapers here. I mean, if you put everything together, one of the things I'm, I'm not as crazy about at the tool truck scrapers is they're not sharp. Like the ends aren't very sharp. You'd have to sharpen them, them yourselves and I don't know, maybe void the warranty, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, this company is called Warner and this is obviously the stiff, not the flexible, which is what I prefer. They're thin enough. This right here, I think is the three inch and then this is the one and a quarter or one and a half. I'm not sure, but these, these are around like seven, eight dollars a piece. They're made in USA with a lifetime warranty by Warner. You can get them on Amazon. They're sharp and they're really well made. So I'd avoid the tool truck on these and just go on Amazon and support an American made company. All right, so I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, again, I didn't buy this, I was sent it, um, but I picked it because they give you an option which tools you can receive in the program. And what I thought was cool about this is so basically it's your, uh, you know, pretty much your common Torx and hex. And the hex actually covers both SAE and metric. And as you can see, it goes from uh, four to 10 on metric, which is the one most of you probably care about. Uh, five and 30 seconds to three eighths on standard. And then the Torx goes from T10 does skip T27, um, but it goes up to T55, which is nice. Um, and then this is just basically a, an eight millimeter, 12 millimeter double vaccine ratchet and wrench that fits the two different profiles here. So as you can deduce, these things actually have little, uh, little hex drives on them with the detent. So you can use them with your ratcheting wrenches. And, uh, the two profiles are eight and 12 millimeter. So seems pretty handy. And these are, uh, they seem pretty well made. Let's see where they're made. Okay, product of Taiwan finished in mainland China, but at least I assume the reason it's finished in mainland China is because of the case, which is okay. And maybe this tool, I'm not sure, but I am pretty certain these, and as you can see, they're all labeled, which is very nice. Um, I'm pretty certain these are, these are all S2 tool steel and it's probably, those are probably made in Taiwan. So I'm sure the bits will hold up very, very, very well. Let's see if it, let's see if it says what they're made from. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think so. I don't see it, but it's a lifetime warranty and there's the part number. And I got to figure there's got to be situations, you know, when you're trying to get in somewhere and you just need, and you just need that end and you need the lowest profile possible. That's basically what you're dealing with here. Cause you can put these on a ratcheting wrench. So good. handy little kit to throw in the back of your toolbox. And I cannot imagine these are very expensive at your local home Depot. Oh yeah. One thing I forgot to mention. So apparently Husky is now rebranding Astro products. The Astro Nano sockets are available branded Husky. And they are identical. Made in Taiwan. So if you want the ease of warrantying at your local Home Depot, you can get the Husky version of the Astro Nano sockets. Little tip. This is a three quarters, 19 millimeter. I actually had the metric set, gave it away. Because I've got the Astro version already. All right, my friends, that uh, wraps up the tool haul. Now, I know it's been a hot minute, you know, since the last time I did a video. Uh, these tools were collected over probably the span of a month. I'm sure there's a few that are in my box that I'm forgetting to mention right now. Um, but moving forward, uh, I'm not sure how much availability I have to be making, uh, you know, a ton of videos. I'd like to make them a little more frequently, so I apologize for the wait. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, we do have, uh, in terms of actual work coming up, we have um, an engine rebuild for uh, you know one of our fleet customers. Their uh, their vans. It's a it's a it's a Ram, and I forget what they call it. I forget what they call their version, but basically it's your tw it's your F two fifty or twenty five hundred equivalent platform um, vehicle. So that might make some interesting content. We'll see if we get an opportunity to film that or not. Um, but at, at any rate, uh, there will be videos in the future, even if they're sporadic. Uh, maybe at some point we'll get to a more regular. Uh, you know, channel and, uh, you know, give you guys some weekly entertainment. That would be great. That's my goal. 
But, um, you know, but life intervenes. <laughs> so until next time, ASM Auto, out.